come back to the channel and tonight we got a special delivery outside there so let's cut to the chase open this thing up turn this thing around and let's see what's out there for us we got company right there the big brother okay so you just saw a sneak peek of what is coming so on today's video we're gonna go and ceramic coat these beautiful bosom wheels so i'm gonna take you to the entire journey out of the box we want to evaluate the packing evaluate the the condition of of the components that come the accessories we want to go through the entire thing we want to weigh the wheels and then eventually we're going to put the turbo wax booster 2.0 on the wheels they're matte gold metal or ceramic coating will not make them shiny that's a beautiful thing about that we probably put a couple coats and i can't wait to get going so we're going to show you step by step uh, using the small air compressor which i have the i will have the link in down in the uh, in the below i will have a link to the compressor although i do have a full video about that compressor with the airbrush guns in another video on, on our channel so anyway i'm gonna flip this around we're gonna unpack prepare spray and come back later and give you our thoughts let's do it all right so here we are so these are the hf5 that's the model they're 20 by 9 with the offset and so on and the color matte gunmetal so this came from our friends at Acura of Pembroke Pines and here we go so I can tell you that the box, ex the box itself looks beautiful I noticed it here additional parts in the inside so for the video purposes I took everything out and this is what comes inside. It has a brochure. It has a small sample of a wheel cleaner. It has the lock nuts. It has uh, the lock nuts itself, the caps, and the center rings. So what I have done is I have placed the lock nuts in here. In that way, I will be able to spray them. And something very curious is that this bottom piece here, it turns. Let's see if you can focus right there so you will not damage the wheel uh, usually when you put the the nuts on it will scrape the wheel this one because it turns it will not do that so that's a beautiful thing i can tell you that the the package is just outstanding phenomenal presentation i mean it's it's uh, they have done a very very good job and this is the wheel nuts here and i was very impressed that even had the bosom in there so that's beautiful uh, so there again the bosom so let's open her up and see i'm so excited about these wheels oh and uh, obviously they come better better package in the inside that's another thing that i noticed that the packaging in the inside is by far the best one that i have seen from all the wheels that i have done very well secure I mean, it's, it's a lot of details into this packaging and presentation and color code and outstanding, really outstanding. This is my first set of Boston wheels. Um, so let's see what they look like. And there she is. Look at this beauty right here. So we're going to pull it out of the box, uh, set, it on, set it up on the table, and uh, we're going to go through the entire process. I show you the before and after so you will see that after the application of the turbo wax ceramic boosted 2.0 the color will not change so they will stay the same color as they came it just they will have the additional uh, protection so let me put this thing on hold and put them on the table right, a quick check on the scales with the box and all 33.6 let's take take her out and check without it and out of the box 28.4 okay i got this little foam thing here it doesn't weigh much but that's about so we can say they're about 28 pounds each very good 
All right, so before we start, we're gonna take you through the entire things that we have here to do this job. So we start with the protective, protective mask. We got the compressor from Harbor Freight, which we will put the link down below. We had the airbrush gun because we're gonna spray them. Of course, we got the Turbo Wax Boosted 2.0. Um, these wheels are matte and it, they will not become shiny. So that's a very good thing that we want to point out. Uh, we have a couple of racks here, microfibers, which we will use to avoid the wheel from rolling. The prep oil, which is the product that we like to use to prepare the surface. Uh, some gloves, microfiber, and then we have our products that you can use to care for your wheels. Any of our shampoos will be safe. The tire T2 for the tires, tire dressing, the wheel cleaner the looks. It will not damage or remove the coating. And then you can maintain them with the Quick Detailer Plus. So we got the table ready. And we want to go ahead and uh, see the wheels and see how we're gonna coat them via the airbrush. Okay, so we have inspected the wheel. It looks phenomenal. So the next step will be to put the prep oil. So we wanna make sure that we remove any oils and grease and fingerprints from the surface. The preparation is crucial. So the coating will bond to the wheels. So what I like to do is I like to spray into a microfiber towel and I will go in small sections and I will go and make sure that I cover all the areas that I'm gonna ceramic and move on and I will do the whole wheel. Then I go behind it with a clean microfiber towel and I will remove any residue that might be left. And with this prep oil or any of these cleaners, if you don't remove that from the surface, you will see a shadow and that will avoid the coating to stick to the surface. So we wanna make sure they're very well clean. There's absolutely nothing on the surface and then we can spray away. So I have done the back side already and this side here, I just did this small section to show you. I'm gonna let it set for about 10 minutes, prepare my compressor and get ready and we're ready to spray. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the wheel around and we're gonna start with the back side with the bottles and uh, it's just a preference for me. I always start with the back. Okay, so here she is all done. As you can see, the surface didn't change any color. There's no high spots or anything. Now the wheel is protected and it looks beautiful. Came out stunning. The nuts are already done too. The lug nuts. 
So now I'm gonna put them on the sun for a couple hours, then box them up, and they will be ready to go in the Turbo Wax 2020 Acura RDX A spec. Beautiful everywhere. All right, guys, so there you have it. The wheels came out phenomenal, static about them. So we're gonna book the appointment um, to get them installed. And we are waiting for some log with the springs. We put all that together and I'll show you later. Uh, we're doing a three part video on the RDX uh, from new all the way to the ceramic coating. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you got some good tips out of the spraying the wheels. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and uh, subscribe to our channel. Check us online, turbowax.com. Uh, we want, want to thank you for your support and uh, more videos coming. So until next time, thank you for watching.